when I think back about it, it with Jim's initial diagnosis, I think I, th I thought we were going to be living in poverty, that um, our boys uh, wouldn't understand that Jim would become almost a non-entity in a lot of ways, uh, that the essence of him would be gone. And I've discovered through this time that that never goes away. My husband's had multiple sclerosis for 42 years. When Jim was diagnosed, he was not ever able to go back to work. So at the tender age of, I was like 28 and, and pretty sheltered really, I had to learn how to be who I am and to take, find my own power. We caregivers are the backbone of the long-term care industry. We provide 80% of all the care in, uh, that's given without family caregivers or informal caregivers, the entire long-term care system would crash. When I meet with, a, with a, a, an elected official and tell them that I'm a caregiver for my husband who has MS, I immediately get, oh, you poor thing, and what a wonderful job you do. And that is sympathy absolutely sends me to the roof because it makes I'm very angry when someone sympathy it gives me sympathy because I I have chosen this I've been a very fortunate woman to have Jim as my husband all these years he's my best friend he's my companion he's my confidant and he's my partner